Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to be painting the um, She is Powerful. I'm going to do just She is Powerful for the tutorial because they're such a similar piece that I think we can use this video for both of these pieces. So again, I'm Julie and I have these painting kits for sale on my website www.julianorcus.com. You can get them on there or you can contact me direct if you're local, um, although on the website there is a way to um, click porch pickup, uh, curbside pickup on my e-commerce website. So. We're going to dive into the lettering because I don't want my hand to uh, smear wet paint on the design. So um, on this particular one, uh, we're going we're gonna to do the lettering first. So as I've stated in the other uh, tutorials that go with the paint kits, um, this is <clears throat> the only thing that is not included that you're probably going to want to buy there. Um, or have on hand. I use paint pens. Um, you can hear they're the kind that shaky shaky and mix up the paint. Um, I've got a medium and a fine. If you don't want to do that, if you can't find them in stores since things are um, closed still, uh, you can use a sharpie, fine tip, and medium tip. Um, but I, I like the paint pens. They roll out nice. Um, the paint comes out so what you're going to get, <clears throat> as I always state in the kits, is the canvas with the um, pre-done uh, tracing on there for you. You'll get paints, a uh, water cup, paintbrush, napkin, wa uh, paint palette, and this one is going to use glitter, so that'll be in there too. Uh, so let's get rolling so that you guys at least have something to work alongside while you're painting. So again, just uh, follow the pre-done tracing on here. You don't need to be a fabulous writer because it's all on here for you. Just take your time. Um, I'm going a little fast just because I don't want to make this video too terribly long and bore you guys, but you may want to watch this first or watch it while you're doing the paint kit. Now you may notice it doesn't look exactly like the sample just yet that's because what we're going to do now is do our downstrokes which is going to give it some life so i am going to show you how to thicken up and make it look a whole lot more custom so think of it as every downstroke gets thickened. So picture yourself doing an S and you're going up and then you're going down and you can do it as thick as you like but then an H goes up and then comes back down and then you go down here. So I'm going to go through and every downstroke I'm going to thicken that line and see what a huge difference that makes in the lettering just really makes it pop. Uh, you can use a different color marker if you like. I just thought the black was easy and it's something that people, if they don't have one of these paint pens, at least they would have a Sharpie. Sharpie may just take you a little bit longer if you only have a fine point. Um, and You'll have to go over it a couple times, but you can see I'm doing it pretty thick. I go down and almost leave a little space in between, and then I go back in and fill it in. Maybe you don't want it this thick, but that's totally up to you. 
Um, this is something that I think kids can can totally do. Um, there's not much there's not much that is too custom about following you know the lines that are already on this canvas um, and, and that kind of helps you with your penmanship anyway it helps you with your decorative flair um, you can go in and you could go in and add a little um, a little decorative stuff at the end if you want I'll go back in typically and do some of the smaller areas again because that's a downstroke. Looks like I forgot the the P's downstroke. I'm being a little a little messy here, but um, after it, it after this dries because the paint pens do take a little bit of time to dry. You don't want to run your hand back over it or you'll smear it. Give it you know five or ten minutes to to dry take a hair dryer to it if you're impatient. And then I would go back in, me personally, I'll go back in and um, kind of tidy up maybe the lines where they go from thick to thin, uh, maybe join some things up that, um, that didn't join up or don't have an easy transition from thin to thick. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this vertically, so my lines are usually a little more tidy the first time around. Okay. So that is good for now. Um, it, it would be the same thing if you bought the She is Fierce. Same exact thing. You'll get the canvas, you'll have the outline on it, do the writing first. That way you can kind of let that dry while you set up the bottom of the piece. Um, a ruler. I do mention when you buy the kit that you would probably want a ruler. Not for all of them. Um, and maybe you, maybe you don't want to use a ruler. Maybe you like more of a, a casual line going through. But this is for the arrow. Again, take your paint pen. Follow the lines that are already on it. And then you can follow the lines for the arrow. You can see how it makes it so easy to use paint pens. I just love these. Um, they have made my life so much easier versus um, trying to take a paintbrush and do something like that. I mean, there's a time and a place for everything. The paint pens are great for stuff like this when you want clean, quick, lines or finishing off or outlining. Um, I have these paint pens in lots of different colors, but the ones I mainly use are um, the Uniposca black, white, gray. I have a green one, but I'm not crazy about the green, so I, I pretty much just use the basic colors. Um, again, let's do some of the shadowing, I guess as I would say. Um, I do have a thicker one that I use, but again, you can use just the medium point and just go back over it a couple times. I like to put a little thickness on the bottom and then maybe the bottom of the arrow points. Again, I'm going kind of fast. If I were doing this for a customer or doing this for you know a little girl's room or something, I would probably be taking a little bit more time and um, if you guys are working on these kits, you might be chatting with other people while you're doing them or the kids maybe um, using this as a project. So you could do the black and then maybe let them go have a snack and then come back and finish the other um, or start on the painting part of it, which is what we're going to do now. Um, just to make sure, I'm going to just take the hair dryer just to set the paint so we can move on. So pardon the noise. That's probably good enough. All right, let's move on to the flowers. I'm gonna be a while. Um, all right. 
I've given you three different pinks uh, to use. And as I mentioned in the little instructions that come with the kits, sometimes I, um, sometimes I water down my paint a little bit uh, for a couple of reasons. You can see the outline better that I provide you with through the paint, but it also has a little bit different feel, um, a kind of a watercolory feel, which, which I kind of like. Uh, again, feel free to use your own paint colors if you want to switch out into something different you have at home. But I do provide you with enough to do the um, the sample or the uh, to do to make it look like the sample. Um, but you guys might want to do some purples or yellows. Mix it up. And this is just kind of a base coat at this point. Oops, looks like I've got the color in the wrong place, but all right. Again, I'm kind of zooming along here for the sheer time of things. Again, the other thing is watering down your paint a little bit um, lets it dry faster too. So just get the basic colors down and then let's take the hair dryer to it. aren't quite as dry as I'd like them, but that's fine. I just realized I need to thicken these up a little bit more. Squeaky little devil. Okay, put more Put more feathers on there if you want as well. Um, oh, looks like I need my green. Oh. All right, forgot about the green. You can see, well, hopefully you can see with the screen that sometimes watering it down also just gives you a nice natural, a little more natural kind of a leaf, a leafy feel. I don't know if that's, a, is that a word? Leafy? It's a leafy feel. Again, I'm painting at an odd angle here to make sure that the video is clear, clear as it can get on this gloomy day that I had to set up some, some extra lighting for. I think it is going to be gloomy here for like the next five days. So looks like indoor projects are what's going to be happening in our house as if that's not all we've been doing for two months anyway with this pandemic. Okay, so I'm doing a real quick, real quick wash of the green and feel free to go over the lines. If you want that leaf to be bigger, then draw it bigger. Again, I'm not sure what percentage of kids versus adults are doing these. I should take a poll, but um, you know, 
I tried to make them simple enough so that a kid can do them, a child, a, not a toddler, a, a school age person, or a mom who is maybe doing some art for their kid's room. Okay, so got the basic down. Or, you know, you could even feel free to uh, add another leaf. Gosh, you could just go whoop. Um, you know, a little bit there. Totally up to you. Depends on how, how creative you are. You could even add more flowers for that matter. Okay. Make sure to wash your brush out. I know that seems like a no-brainer, but I do that right away so that if I go to grab the brush again, at least I'm not waiting or I'm not accidentally mixing the paint and it's getting glopped onto the brush. Let's give this another shot of air. Again, drying with a hair dryer is not a necessity if you have patience to walk away and go grab a cup of coffee or your kids want to go grab a snack or something. Um, okay, what I also include is, um, even though yeah, I guess there's a little white on there, I'll always include some white for you guys. So um, I'm going to... I think I'm going to give this coral one a little bit more color. It's a little, a little lean on, on color. And again, here's, you know, if you want to add some more flowers, feel free to even, like I did with the leaves, you know, add another, add another flower over here. It's pretty easy to do. down here. You know, I'm always blotting on this um, napkin when I don't want it watered down too much. And I'm going to go over, add a little water, blot a little bit of that off, go in again with a little bit more green, kind of mush it around a little bit just to and you could even take some of the green and mix some of the white to lighten that up and do another, do another layer. Uh, you know, maybe this is not, uh, that wouldn't be something for a smaller child to do is start doing shading, but I got to say there's a lot of kids out there that are pretty good artists that might want to do that. So what I mean by that is take some of your white, take a little bit of your, take some of your green, maybe just put it on the cap or on your, on your paint palette. I'm not really using that paint palette right now and lighten up this green a little bit. give you a whole new whole new color not a new color but a lighter a lighter uh, highlight and then maybe you could add some of that on there it's probably not showing that on the video at all all right Julie let's go all right let's add a little more white because that was not noticeable at all. Okay. 
that's probably a little too much but for the sake of this video i think you're going to get the idea point being is you're always going to get some white and you can alter your colors a little bit to your own liking so all right there we go so maybe you want to go in and add like some little veining again i'm painting at a very odd angle here so i feel like i'm painting like a kindergartner but it's giving you the idea and if you're painting along with your kit you can always stop this video go back this isn't rocket science it's just a uh, just a way to show you how i arrived at these simple little canvases for you to paint i might even take a little bit more with just plain white and add a little a little down the middle probably works better if the undercolor is already dry or it makes it nice to to blend it as well okay so that's i didn't do that on the sample here but you get the idea of what you can do okay well now while we have our white out we are going to go back to the flowers let's close all these up try to keep your paints closed up if you're not using them they do dry out fast um all right, you're white. I include a flat brush with these kits. And I do tell you that um, more than likely if you're painting with kids or if you're a crafter anyway, you probably have some brushes laying around the house. I desperately tried to find some economical um, brushes to include in these kits, but I have yet to source those. And hopefully I can get my hands on some of those and include one of those as well. But uh, you might want to pull um, out of your kids craft storage or if you've got some brushes a thinner pointed uh, round brush as well and if not um, you know it is what it is but most likely people have some stray brushes around the house again this is going to be to your discretion and how you want to do this but here's how the sample is after this uh, color of flowers is is completed looks like a few are still a bit wet you'll see the little swirly image depending on how thick you put that paint on um, showing through on the color so if you see that kind of just follow the line and if not I'm going to water this down a little bit um, you know I kind of just do a quick little kind of swirly around swirly like a toilet I guess yep I haven't heard that term in a while okay um, so you can see hopefully how that just kind of adds a little dimension to the flower. You could also do this with a white paint pen. I have been known to do that. I like doing it with the paint because I think it gives it a little bit more thick and thin lined um, interest. If you get too much white, just go back in with your color. Uh, oh, again, I'm kind of charging through here if i was painting flat i would be taking a little bit more time like you guys might be doing or your your kids might be doing so that gives you the idea of the flower so let's dry this because i want to add a little color back to it because i think i got a little too much white on there Sometimes it helps to water down the paint for these swirlies um, or even use a thinner brush but um, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a little bit of this coral color water it down and I 
kind of go back around through the swirls. Do the same on the pink one. Water it down a little. And maybe drag drag it around. Swirl it all around a little bit more. I'm even gonna go in maybe onto the light pink one and add a little dimension to that as well. Okay, it's it's hard painting on an on a horizontal. I gotta tell you that. Okay, maybe a little bit on this one. It doesn't take a, a hard hand. You gotta keep it light, light and easy. All right, that is about it for the flowers. I think they would look a little more polished if I had not, if I had not been rushing. Um, cause I have one more thing, maybe one more thing to show you, maybe two. All right. Since this one has glitter, you will get a little bit of glitter in a cup as well. I'm just putting it on the plate for now. Uh, let's see. And put glitter wherever you want, but I, on the sample, have it on the arrow. This glitter is got a translucent base, so you're not going to cover up what's underneath it. As you can see, um, the white is still showing through. I think that one I used a silver glitter. Um, I have to figure out which one I'm going to send, but... And then I just kind of take the brush and go down. You could put the glitter on the flowers once they're dry. Mine are wet. Uh, and put it wherever you want. This one is super translucent. I'm not sure if I like which one I like better. Let's see. You can see this one has got the silver and this one's the translucent. Gosh, I don't know. Hmm. I have to see how that looks when it dries. So here you can see, did the wording first, kind of let that dry, go in and uh, do your arrow, add your flowers, Add some dimension, maybe play with your paints, lighten or darken them. No two are going to look the same if you choose to kind of mix it up a little bit. You could change your colors if you don't want to use mine. Add more leaves, add more flowers. Um, put your name at the bottom if you have good penmanship. But this is She is Powerful Art Kit. On, available on www.julienorcus.com. You get everything you need except for the paint pen and um, you'll be good to go. So she is powerful. She is fierce. Same concept, only with hearts. Thanks for watching. Happy painting.